Hello, good morning. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading, the 11th of sorry, 12th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the stats for this morning. Asian markets certainly subdued and negative overnight. The Nikkei down 100 points, 0.5%. Hang Seng hanging in there. Uh, interesting Hang Seng hanging okay Hang Seng hanging in there at uh, 166 points at 0.6 percent higher but the Shanghai which is the main index to uh, observe and follow is down so my understanding from that is we have a bias negative European markets this morning certainly um, impressive on the FTSE 100 and that's led by the uh, Mr Broadbent certainly uh, with the uh, dovish tilt oil prices certainly rallying overnight as well on the back of a weaker dollar and uh, also uh, supply data certainly supporting that as well uh, not only that, we have um, a uh, potential uh, move higher in the uh, S&P as well, given the fact that it shrugged off the concerns with regards to Trump Jr. Uh, and I think that certainly is premature. That certainly will come back and bite the uh, U.S. equities, especially given the fact that we have Miss Yellen as well, uh, not long now in terms of her potential uh, testimony as well. Uh, and it'll be interesting with, uh, with her testimony being at 3 p.m. So in the next three hours' time, interesting to see what she has to say as well going forward. Okay, so uh, FTSE up uh, on the back of uh, stronger employment numbers as well, employment overall, average earnings certainly coming in stronger than expected, uh, employment or jobs being created as well, and therefore obviously put positive for the economy. Adding the fact that uh, you have Mr. Broadbent certainly on the Dovey side as well, that certainly has helped to a large extent, okay, and that certainly has triggered the short squeeze on the uh, sterling which uh, certainly has caused Euro GBP to fall. Uh, industrial production at the Eurozone certainly coming in stronger than expected, again helping European equities to a large extent, although a stronger Euro is going to hurt exports, so bear that in mind. A stronger Euro, given the fact that Euro now 1.1450 is certainly hurting European exports. Okay, so certainly add that into your analysis as well. Okay, so again, Fed Yellen really is the main risk, uh, shall we say, factor today. We have uh, mortgage applications in the US, Canadian Bank, monetary policy, actually, that's another one. Okay, so BOC, watch out. Okay, interest rate decision. Okay, a lot of it has already been factored in with the USD CAD plunging down to 1.19. Okay, we have Mr. George speaking as well, Fed's George. Uh, look for further clues there at 7 p.m. Uh, and also for the Fed's beige book as well, certainly will be market moving. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture. Uh, in terms of the European indices, German DAX uh, hitting that upper level again, retesting that key resistance zone. We are into diagonal trend line resistance, horizontal resistance. So an impressive thrust on the German DAX today, even though we have a stronger euro, which is quite interesting. OK, and that's been led by the rally in the Nasdaq as well, certainly helping. OK, also stronger industrial production. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC here. So certainly a bullish engulfing candle on the French CAC too. 60 minute chart is, got, is now going to resistance and therefore you are looking for a potential move lower on the French CAC. So again, French CAC subdued compared to its counterpart, which is the German DAX. Okay, German DAX certainly has been helped by stronger data. We are now into horizontal resistance for the French CAC, so bear that in mind. You are now coming into resistance. You have quite a massive gap to fill below. You have a 50 point gap higher, so again, watch out for that. Okay, FTSE 100, again, impressive thrust higher on the FTSE, uh, get led by, like I said, a weaker... Sorry, uh, could you repeat that? Excuse that, okay, so again, a weaker, um, uh, stronger employment data, and obviously a dovish uh, BOE, Mr. Broadbent. Again, he, that's what we were waiting for yesterday, failed to transpire. Having said that, you still have the unfilled gap below at 7330, so it's an impressive, impressive thrust higher today on the FTSE 100. Looking at the 60 minute chart, you've broken above that key resistance zone, which is at 7385. Next real resistance is at the 7420, and then obviously you're looking at 7450 above, okay? So again, a base has been built, and the market certainly has broken out. In terms of the uh, Euro stock, let's just look at Euro stocks, last but not least, as always. Again, the bull flag certainly has played out. 60 minute chart, you are now into resistance at the 3490 zone and therefore you're looking for the market to move lower. 10 minute chart, double top, again, double top when we drop. Okay, so look for a potential drop there. Unfill gap below at 3465, certainly vulnerable to being closed, okay? That really is a summation of uh, today's uh, price action, okay? Be sure to visit uh, Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers, and cfds.com for your bonus. Goodbye now.